You create them by calling a static method on the tuple class called tuple create, and it gives you that tuple. So you have an array of these tuples. Um, so I pull each tuple out of the out of the um, array here, and uh, that's what I'm doing here. And I'm calling it site info. The nice thing about tuples is that they don't have special names. Okay, I don't. Have, I didn't have to think of. I didn't have to name it. I could have created a class and just put objects of the class in there. This, this way I don't have to bother creating my own type. Because I know it's going to be in it. And then I have uh, an item 1 and an item 2 property on this thing, which gives me either the first string or the second one. So the first string is the name of a website, and the second string is the URL of a website. Okay? So I'm going to iterate through the, the array of, of uh, site informations. And for each one, I'm going to retrieve uh, the contents of the website as a string, measure the string's length, and report what it is. Okay? And of course, the main thing that I'm bothering to show you all this is because Parallel 4 will make sure that what's inside this lambda runs in parallel in a separate thread, or at least in isolation from all the others, you know, with all the caveats I made before about you know, no guarantees how many threads that's going to be, or even if there will be any. Okay? They're going to run independently of each other. They're going to run in any old sequence they feel like running. Um, none of them will wait on any of the others. And in this case, they're all, they're all uh, returning nothing. So they're just going to do their thing and quit. So let's go down and uh, call this thing. I'll comment out the other, the other one I have in here, which we'll get to in a minute. And like that. Not something I messed up in here like this. Oh, and it would help if I changed my startup project, wouldn't it? Make this demo much more compelling. And what now? Oh, did I throw an exception? Uh, 